a heck of a fight out there. I think everybody was pretty entertained. What, what did you think uh, being out there in that, that mess? Oh, fighting for me is like a dream come true, you know, since a kid I was uh, started martial arts at six years old, taekwondo, karate, kickboxing, my, my whole life martial arts was kind of my identity and uh, I'm just happy to kind of, uh, you know, uh, bring back the, the, the traditional part in the sense of, uh, you know, try to give it a different look and just go out there and be happy and just let everything go. Were you expecting to be that tough of a fight? I mean, Ross showed incredible heart in there. I mean, were you expecting <coughs> Yeah, 100%, of course. I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't think the UFC puts me with the top strikers for no reason. I, I, I believe in my heart that I fought the top top uh, fighters in the, in the lightweight division. I mean, relatively, I'm not the biggest guy in the division, but, you know, I always try to hold my ground. I always try to give the fans excitement. I purposely do it on purpose to, to not, uh, to, 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 to put myself in danger zones and it's just to make it exciting. There was a moment sort of near the end of the fight where it looked like he stumbled and, and you signaled to the ref. What, what was going on there? The third round, in my head, uh, when I was throwing him, like, <clears throat> I was always careful because any, in, in the small four-ounce gloves, anything can happen, you know, any little clip, any, in the past, sometimes a distraction, like I'm in the, I'm in the cage and I'll be, a, a thought enters my head and it will distract me and I'll get clipped. You know, this is a thing that people don't know, the general public, that in that cage, you have to have an empty mind because any little distraction, any little thought, it can be any little feeling or thought can distract you and boom, you're knocked out. It happened to me already and uh, it's a learning experience. So I really try to stay in the present moment as much as I can, I focused on my, my breathing. And uh, I saw him taking shots after shots after shots and uh, he was, and I felt bad for the guy. You know, I really felt bad and I looked at the clock 30 seconds left and I looked at the referee, you know what I mean? Like, I, I really I really didn't want to hit him no more, but I had no choice. Because he was going to hurt me. Normally when you fight in Canada, you seem to get a, a finishes. Uh, Shane Campbell comes to mind, the other finish you had in Toronto a few years ago. This was a war. Did you want that in your resume to have like a nice, uh, you know, all out back and forth fight where you really, uh, you know, took out a really savvy veteran in Ross Pierce? <clears throat> well, that's the thing, you know what I mean? Uh, fighting is so unpredictable. This is why we have, as fighters, we have the unknown, the anxiety, the stress. Because we don't, I mean, I'm a, I consider myself a smart fighter. You know, I consider myself a defensive fighter who takes his time. But also I, I had to kind of, I, I had to put myself in a very uncomfortable situation today. Because today people saw the maturity of John McDessie, you know. Um, I'm, a, I'm more mature, I'm 33. You know what I mean? I, unfortunately it took me some time. People, it took me eight years to grow, you know what I mean? like. It's not easy to figure things out. I don't come from a fighting family, you know. I had a lot of trial and error, you know what I mean? I'm a very emotional guy. I'm a very uh, into thought. I reflect a lot. Like, I'm very, uh, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a very uh, complex creature. <clears throat> that being said, um, Ross Pearson is very tough. I never I never throw so much shots. Like, my, my, my knuckles skin is ripped out. I never, my, my knuckles are hurting me. I never throw so much shots at a guy and he kept on coming forward. Did that surprise you that he was able to keep pressing forward with how many shots? 100%, that was exhausting mentally, physically, emotionally. <clears throat> I had to stay smart, I had to stay focused, I kept on listening to my corner, Duke Rufus, and I had to uh, switch it up a little bit. Sometimes I had to play that, <clears throat> that brawler, then I had to play that uh, stay from the outside, and I, you know, <clears throat> I studied, you know, all I do when I'm alone, all I do is watch fights, videos, you know. So it helped me, I feel like it helped me a lot because it's like, at the end of the day, this is what we do, we're martial artists. You know what I mean? So you need to adjust, adapt, and improvise. Eddie Alvarez said this week that a fighter can wait his whole career to get that dance partner who allows him to kind of show, dig deep and, and show, you know, the best version of himself. Do you kind of feel like Ross brought that, was that guy for you? A hundred percent. I mean, it takes two people to dance, right? It takes two people to dance and Ross Pearson, He's a top competitor, fought the best. He fought the best in, my, in the division. You know, and, and I'm very grateful to, to, uh, to share octagons with him. How much credit goes to Duke Rufus and Miguel Rufus for You look like a different fighter out there. These last two fights now, having Duke in your corner and just the team. Uh, just, you, you, it seems like you feel that way too, that you're a different fighter now. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, Duke, he kind, of, he, he, he kind of brought back the confidence in a sense where, you know, I don't want to sound negative or, uh, you know, I mean, other coaches have their own methods. You know what I mean? Some people don't understand my style, my character, my mentality. Duke really 
what makes Duke so special is not only that he comes from a karate taekwondo background and, and his father was in martial arts, his brother, you know, Rick Rufus, kick world champion, Duke Muay Thai champion. It just, it, it makes things much easier for me because they understand. A lot of coaches can't, don't really understand the fighter, you know what I mean? And he's very passionate and he really, he really loves you. He really shows it and I feel it too. Because fighters, we're, it's all about emotions. We feel things, we're not stupid. We're like animal instincts, you know what I mean? So we know when someone's faking and we know when someone's really genuine. And Duke is very genuine. He does everything from the heart. Yeah, and sorry, and how much momentum uh, did you have heading into this? Your, your team's been on a roll. Uh, Gerald Murshaw getting a win a few weeks ago. Um, just talk about that a little bit, just that your team you know, really winning a lot. What I love about Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Duke Rufus, especially his camp, the Rufus Sports, it's small, it's quality, it's family-oriented, it's structured. And, I, and fighters, we need structure. We need... MMA is chaotic. Uh, you know, I mean, I come from a traditional martial arts where you have one teacher and you have under under the teacher you have you have coaches and you have a team. Everything's structured, and that's what I like about it. Spoke about having done this for a while. You had a couple of wins thrown together. I know you had uh, your first fight this year. I think you had the board last year. What's next? Are you looking to get back soon? <clears throat> well, for for me, it's all about uh, being smart, uh, being healthy. I want quality fights. It's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. So I want, I want the fights that make sense. Like, 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 like in the past, I would fight a guy who's a big name, and then they'll give me a, a, begin, a, a newcomer, you know what I mean? I want, for me, I'm 33 years old now. I want to get to the title contention by 35. I want to fight the guys who get me to the top 10. You know what I mean? I don't want to fight no more newcoming guys. I, I, I deserve, you know, I, I proved to the UFC that not only that I'm, I'm willing to die out there, you know, I put my I put my heart into this. I dedicate my whole I dedicate my whole life to martial arts and the fighting, and and to entertain in the entertainment business. <clears throat> I just want uh, the fights that make sense and to get me to the to the title contention. Do you want to fight in Toronto next? Like part in December? It's coming up on December eighth. Is that something that would interest you? I heard they're going to New Brunswick. Yo, that Moncton, of course. I mean, that'd be amazing. Yeah, why not? You know, I I want to I, I want to bring back the the UFC to Canada. Uh, you know, I mean, I believe that I'm the most exciting Canadian fighter out there.